Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy. Today I'm going to be going over a benchmark comparison between the Samsung Galaxy Player 4.2 that just came out versus the Samsung Galaxy Player 4.0 that came out last year. So a lot of you guys have been saying, well, what, what's better, what's worse, all this kind of stuff, so let's get to the bottom of it right now. First we're going to start off with Quadrant. full benchmark and then after that, I'll go into the system and folks I know some of you guys are going to want to see the GPU and everything so I'll go into that just so you know now there'll be no more speculation there'll be no more arguments on which one you know it'll be all on the table you guys will see it right here and now and see the differences. Again, the newer one is on the left and the older one's on the right. And just to note, in the next couple of days I will do a full side-by-side -side comparison on these two. Uh, but today I um, just wanted to get the benchmark test out of the way so you guys see all the benchmark specs comparison to it. Second to last CPU test. And the Galaxy player on the left has run this test before. Uh, maybe that, that might be why it's slightly ahead. Um, but both of them are doing pretty fairly about the same. Again, that one finished slightly quicker, but it just could be because it did the test before. So. That's important to note. Now it's going through the other ones fairly quickly. Yeah, it's definitely this one has already done the test before, so it's going through um, a couple of things quicker. Um, this one's just doing it for the first time, so it is moving through the benchmark quicker. But this one's quickly catching up, so. And you can see the frame rate difference already. That one's at a constant 43 for this, and let's see how this one goes. So, definitely able to put out a higher frame. Alright guys, so, let me zoom in for you. And in terms of benchmark test, uh, for Quadrant, this one had a 1783, whereas this one has a 1256. So the new player did do a better test on Quadrant. Now we're going to go to the next one. So we'll see that. But before doing that, we're going to go to System Info. Just so you guys can see exactly everything on here. And I'm going to move up. And so you guys can see the processor. Which seems to be almost identical. The minimum for this one's actually a little bit higher. Um, the current one has dropped on this one, whereas the current one stayed at the max on this one. Um, other than that, similar. You see a couple of things a little bit better here. And let's go to GPU. Alright, so I know one of my uh, viewers definitely kept pointing this one out. That the graphics card on this one is better than this one. So definitely something to note.
And just so you guys can see in terms of support. All right, now let's go to Intuitu. Go to the test. Now I clicked this one slightly quicker this time than that one, so we'll see if that's just uh, how the CPU is testing out, or if we'll see in the end um, if this one can catch up. And in the comparison, I will go over full comparison, so I'm going to try to compare everything for you guys. If you guys have any like specific thing you want to see, definitely let me know. Um, as for something like gaming I probably won't do a gaming comparison uh, but I will tell you any games that this one can do if you so if you do want to see you know um, if you do want to see how this one runs on a certain game let me know I'll do I'll probably do actually maybe I'll do a comparison on Grand Theft Auto because we all saw this one ran a little bit glitchy on that so we'll see how it runs on this one Let me zoom a little bit up for you guys for the frames. So this is where the graphics card is really coming out that you can see the difference. Whereas this one was on about 32, that one was closer to 60. So this one actually finished first. We'll just wait for this one to finish. And then we shall see. In a little bit for you guys. So we can see the scores. And there we have it. So on in 2.2, um, definitely the better score went to the 4.0. Obviously, uh, one scored better than the other um, on each test. Which, don't know if this helped you guys out or made it worse, but you know, I, I told you I would do that. So, um, definitely just show you how well they both run. And now we'll just see how they compare to other devices. So, uh, just to give you an idea, against the original Galaxy S, this one uh, still falls underneath it, whereas this one is slightly better than it, um, on terms of testing. So, um, now of course everyone has preferences on why one benchmark is better than another. I'll let you guys be the judge of that, and definitely feel free to leave comments. 
you guys have any other questions about the benchmark test or anything else you want to see that wasn't in the video, uh, feel free to ask. This has been RZKY, the Android guy.